three now. Yesterday, we went out to meet our friend Daisuke, and uh, we had some drinks with him in Yakitori, but we didn't want to bring the camera because we just met him and we didn't want to shove the camera in his face. But anyway, now we have a little bit of a view of what it looks like outside. And this is also gonna be our last day in this room, in this hostel. Tomorrow, we're in a shared room. We just had, by circumstance, ended up with this room because we booked a night too far in advance. So we had to do some scheduling and they only had this room available, so. We got a private room for a night, and we'll be in a shared hostel room with 12 people tomorrow night. So we have to check out and then check back in. But anyway, I'm excited because on our Google Maps legend, all these things are different things we need to do, and we've pretty much done all the ones on the west side. Now, since we are here, we're going to go north up to this boy up here, which is this, and then we're going to travel down, hitting these ones. These are food, so we don't have to go to those, and then end up at the Imperial Palace, which should be pretty cool, we're excited for that. So today should be another good day. We have come to Akihabara. I think I said that wrong probably, but anyway, we're getting some coffee now from a vending machine. We haven't had any breakfast. We came here so that we could get my camera fixed, which unfortunately broke. I think I mentioned that before, but my 800D broke, so I can't get any good B-roll footage. But I'm gonna get one of these for a delicious and nutritious breakfast. And I want a cold one, so. Money in as you do. Oh, we got change. Thought I put the right amount. Can't put too much in there. Well, you gotta give it a try. This is a new flavor, so. I haven't had any of them anyway. It's good. It's very sugary, but it's good though. It tastes like. It tastes like the Starbucks ones of these. Something unheard of in the US. A vending machine working twice in a row. Yeah. I came into this camera store to see if I could get my other camera repaired. And it's literally a camera enthusiast's dream. There's like every lens available to try and so many different kinds. It's crazy every different camera brand but unfortunately it's gonna take too long to get my camera repaired so I'm not gonna be able to do it here all right we're in the photo room doing a photo shoot with mr frog oh wait a second no we're not we're still in the camera store i fooled you callum Ooh. wow now that is appetizing that's it perfect work those angles looking absolutely fabulous oh wait a second we're still in this we're in the store still how i tricked you again oh, this is man. too easy this is too easy don't <laughs> you love that music <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately it's going to be too long to get the camera fixed so i'm just going to have to use the g7x and not use my dslr on this trip which is pretty unfortunate because that's the whole reason i got it but now we're gonna go get some ramen because we're hungry and then go to soup, Super Potato. Okay, we've come to a ramen restaurant and they have all these different languages and we don't speak vegan, so we'll go to English. It looks cool in here though. That looks excellent. Good. Super cool view. We just ate lunch. As soon as we came out of there, had a big line. So we went in at the right time. Now we're walking towards Super Potato, and it's very scenic here, and there's a lot of anime stuff. We found Super Potato. It's kind of a uh, difficult entrance to find, but here it is. This place is crazy. Look at all these games. Are these uh, SNES games? No, they're Super Famicom. Oh, wow. It's a Sega console. And they're all like so pristine packaged these are old games see that's so crazy wow and there's stuff all over the place here it's overwhelming the amount of old school consoles they have it's awesome going up to the second floor now hopefully we'll find some game boy stuff so cool. It's 
PlayStation games. Wow. I have these original ones in the box. They're pretty expensive. 437. Yeah, these are original in the box, unwrapped. Those are the original Game Watches. Those are worth a fortune. Oh yeah, Mr. Game and Watch. The OG man himself. And are they all still wrapped? Or are they just uh, repackaged? Some of them are in the box, so 600. You got a nice Pokemon card, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh card. That one's 2,000, because that one's the original. Oh wow, yeah, it's got the, the box and everything. Wow. This is what we were looking for. Unfortunately, they're quite expensive now. But there's the original Game Boy, and it's in pretty freaking good condition. Look at that. $98, though. I don't think I'll pick one up, but they're very cool. Okay, coming into the third floor now. It's the video game room. After Super Potato, we decided to head over to the Mandrake Complex, which is a giant seven-story building that has all kinds of anime, manga, and retro Japanese things. Couldn't really show what was in the last place because it was a big graphic. But this is a store full of video games and DVDs, like literally full. It's like six stories, all old school games and DVDs like this. I don't know why, but um, the Japanese Spider-Man looks way better than the American one. I want to see that. And here's all the Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon cards you could ever ask for. Here we are, walking up to Sensoji Temple. We're in Asakusa. There's a lot of people here and a big street market, but it looks really cool. This is a really impressive temple. It's really big too. What do you think of the temple, Cam? It's big. Stopped into a little bubble tea shop and got some Daruma tea. That looks good. And here is our little fish bake man. It is chestnut and red bean. Red bean. That looks good. Kiss the fish. We're 
are back at the hostel now, and we've checked into our new room, which is a shed dorm. A couple people staying in these beds here. This is where Callum and I are staying, 504 and 503. How's your bed, Callum? Uh, it's pretty comfy. You like it? Yeah, it's a nice little area. That's good. Mine's set up pretty good as well. Got my little fan going. I think the bed area might be slightly bigger than the other one. But then we also have some lockers here for our other stuff, which I haven't used. Oh, I'm tucked in all nice. Oh, this is good. Be a good sleep. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Your beds are looking pretty comfy there. Who are you? <laughs> you might find coming. How are you here? I'm on the fifth story. Oh, I, I just get in this comfy bed now. <laughs> no, this is my bed. Get out. Get out of here. What are you doing? <laughs> A random truck blasting wagon. Very tall, skinny building. Oh well. Lots of engines in there. Okay, we're going for our first try of the legendary Coolish. Ice cream in a pouch. Pork curry from 7 Eleven for dinner. What did you get from 7 Eleven? Uh, egg udon. I think. Udon. And then we randomly got free gifts. Calm got a anti-gout yogurt drink. <laughs> and I got cup noodles. Yay! Hooray! Next time on Japan Ultimate Adventure, we finally visit and summit Roppongi Hills Tower, eat some sushi, visit the real-life Pokemon Center, go to Odaiba Park, which apparently has the Statue of Liberty, go to an onsen, which is more like a theme park, and take a night bus. A lot happened in this episode, so you won't want to miss it. Thanks for watching, and remember to like if you want to, and subscribe if you feel like it. Catch you next time.